Hey everyone, I'm Alpha. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, follow Baras. Okay, cool. I uh, am done with my two-week break, naturally. It was good for me. Um, just a minor note. Though I really should say this in other LPs, just on the basis of... Hey, if you don't watch uh, Oblivion, you wouldn't know. Oh, of course, the secret sewer entrance. Um, what am I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm going to post more Oblivion just on the merit of, like, it's going to be a long game, and I kind of want to get through it. Not, like, want to get through it. Like, oh, i got to fucking do my chores of playing Oblivion. But uh, it will it will take a while to beat this game on account of being an Elder Scrolls. There we go. Boy, Victor. This is fun, isn't it? Stick together. Not on this path. Mud crabs. I didn't know mud crabs were in this part of the empire. It makes sense that they show up in Skyrim and Morrowind thanks to their uh, large coastlines. And the weather makes a little more sense, but it's a bit strange to see like crabs in uh Get my back. in the like you know, stereotypical European ass forests of oblivion. I will say. Um what was I getting at? I'm gonna be playing more Oblivion uh than I ordinarily would, just on account of like Cool. On account of like this game's been gonna be long and I wanna get through it. But I'm also like Uh, I'm doing shorter episodes just to get back in. Ooh, nice. Wait, I don't actually need this pewter spoon. It doesn't have value. Why did you have it, then? Is that how he eats his cereal? Look out! Mm. Thousand gold in my pocket, almost. Feeling good about that. Buenos dias, fuck boy. See, now there's something that has a little more value for me. Hey, did I ever do anything with all those pounds of rat meat in my pocket? I didn't. Probably because I can't. I should look up a way to uh, diminish my rat meat supplies. Because I got a lot of rat meat in these pockets. My purses jingle and sway with all of the stores of rat meat. What are you, brother? Oh, a goblin. Yeah. I guess. This was mine. Uh, look. No, you know what? I will complain about it. This is my show. Fuck you guys. No, for real though. Uh, I I significantly lament the fact that like that's just a regular bog standard goblin, you know. Like it's it's not a it's not a cool goblin or, or like a like the what were the the Reeklings, Reiklings in um the Morrowind DLC and the Skyrim DLC on Solstheim. They have like a semi interesting like lore and, and society and you know they're they're a little cool in that they're this sort of antithesis to the Nords, because like we see the Nords in um Solstheim and they're even more like they're more Nords than the than the Nords in Skyrim. Like, they're even more in tune with nature, and they're more of barbarians, and they're more, like, violent. Like, I feel like that's the that's the logic and, and uh, like, the idea of the, 
the what are they called? I'm blanking on it. I played so much of that DLC, both DLCs, in fact. The Skull. Yeah. Um. The, the it feels like they're set up just to be like, hey, what if the Nords were even more Nordy? And then to oppose that like sort of natural way of living, we have the Reichlings, and it's like they're even more natural, but they. They're like smaller and grimier and all that jazz, but you know, would you deny them life? You're you're welcome to. This is this is your game. Dedication restores willpower. Oh, like you're dedicated. I thought it was like you drink this and then it it dedicates something. This was mine. You can have it, bro. Yeah, rat meat. Sorry, just trying to remember my drag button. You might not be able to do it to corpses. But a lot of what I've been lamenting is like, I know that there are lore reasons for why this game is like has this setting. Like, of course it's important, and I care about the fact that Tiber Septum changed this to a sweaty, inhospitable, annoying jungle into a more easy place for his people to live. That's cool, and it shows a lot of things, and like... The way that it's talked about in the in the book called the many-headed Talos is cool, and that's a that's a interesting way to depict Talos. Um, and the other interesting thing is the many-headed Talos. Uh, Skyrim players would recognize it as that thing that Heimsker is shouting in in White Run. Whenever you go to White Run, and that uh, the crazy Nord supremacist is like Talos, Talos. You know that's what he's talking about. He's quoting a book called the many-headed Talos. But that book is more important than it is. It was, if I remember correctly, The Many-Headed Talos was not written for the Elder Scrolls. It was written by Elder Scrolls author, Michael Kirkbride. Sorry, I don't remember how to how to do this. Oh, there we go. Damn it. Taking a break, we'll do that to a guy. Damn. Sorry, I, I've completely stopped what I was talking about because I'm focusing in so hardcore to this mini game. Yes. Ah, oh, sweet. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, but there's enemies. That's all right. Um. Anyway, if I remember correctly, the many-headed Talos is interesting and unique because it was not written for the Elder Scrolls. Um. Obviously, the Elder Scrolls is a game series by Bethesda Game Studios, but it's also a collaborative piece of storytelling between all of the people who have worked on it. And Michael Kirkbride. The room with the table is just through this door. I always wondered who put it there. That's funny. I happen to know that if you go up the stairs there, you can get a vantage point on the meeting room. I think I'd better be the one to handle the meeting. You'll be my backup. Keep watch from above in case of trouble. Good. Remember, we must not... Listen. I may not survive. Wow, he's just ready to throw it away, huh? I don't. I'm glad to have you at my back. Okay, so I'm going up here. With my katana. Anyway, so Michael Kirkbride wrote The Many-Headed Talos not just after he um, was not working on Morrowind, but I don't even think he was working at Bethesda at all anymore. Um...
Dovin Aaron. Yeah, I still do training. Oh, cool. You train, huh? Say what you're going to say. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't. Please. I'm sorry. Don't make me laugh. What? I completely don't understand how this is supposed to work. Sure, that's cute. No more. You're frightening me. I'm not buying that one. You're a big, fat liar. I'm through talking to you. This is silly. Anyway, so yeah, Many-Headed Talos being written after the, um... Sorry, he said that there was a staircase. I assume that he meant the staircase that I, that I had seen. Right, he's a danger. Yeah, I thought he meant this staircase, but does he mean this one? Oh, this actually does make more sense. Doi. Never mind, that's not on me. Or that's not on him. That's uh that's my fault. I told you to come alone. Brothers, kill them. The dawn is breaking. Must have just been rats. Must have just been rats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's two of you. Let's uh, let's get poisoning. So yeah, some people might be like, "Hey, why are they using the guy's work after he quit?" But I, a while ago, like obviously Bethesda is getting worse and worse as a company. But the idea of like, I don't really need that, but. I found the book. Gold trim shoes, sweet. This guy had the kicks on. Damn. This guy had rough leather. That guy had gold trim. Um yeah, the idea that um Frost shield, that's way more important to me. Important. Nihilism. <laughs> oh, cool. So they give you stuff. Let me read that then. And then I think that's our next level, right? Or do we have to sleep in a bed? Oh, yeah, because it says wait. Yep, there you go. Intelligence go up. Speed to go up. Uh, hmm. You realize you're catching on to the secret of success. It's a matter of concentration. Hmm. Maybe willpower... I'll grab some strength. Shway. But yeah, like, obviously Bethesda is getting worse as a company. And that sucks and that's annoying and, and we hate that. But the fact that they're still willing to do interesting moves and ideas, like, they're boozing in here, damn. Like, work collaboratively on this story. Because, like, the lore of the Elder Scrolls was built collaboratively to begin with. It was actually, I think, Todd Howard's, like, D&D &D game a while ago. A very long time ago, I should say. Ah, 
God damn. The way that it's just such an uphill battle is such a pain. Like, I can see why they changed the, the lock design. Because it's both a lot easier. It's more deliberate. And it feels less Sisyphean, you know? <sighs> Irritating. Okay. Like, it, it feels like I'm just doing the same thing over and over again uh, when I'm lockpicking in, in this game sometimes. And like I say, it is it is a little demoralizing. Do I have something I can drink to help me with this? No. Hey, I broke a thousand for real this time. I always remember that the uh, the go-to way to make potions was like the more um, effects that a potion had. Uh, sometimes that would mean that it like the more effects and the rare a potion had, the rare the effects were, the more expensive and costly the potion would be. So you can bust up uh, like, for example, Skyrim's economy. Pretty simply by making just some really, really cheap potions that have such a huge return, you know? Okay. Agonizing. Huh. That's it? 13 gold is all you can give me for all of that? Ugh. I'm going to stop doing lockpicking. It's like... Ugh. God. But I got to keep training it then. Ugh. Jesus. I don't know what I should do about that. That's a bit cringe, isn't it? Tarmina. Okay. I don't I don't know if um Boros like fucked off or not. I'm sorry, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I wanted to go loot for real real. Um Oh cool, Talos Plaza. I was certainly talking about something a while ago. Oh yeah, I was just talking about how like for all the setting stuff in in um these games that does tick me off. I do like how there is a bit of a twist on the um 80 gold for free. There's a bit of the twist on the um you know, prototypical goblin enemy. Because, like, how many RPGs have you played where there's an enemy called Goblin? And then, you've, and then you kill that Goblin, you know? Like, it, it would be... It, it's kind of hard to make it fresh, and that's why a lot of people don't even do it, unless they're intentionally trying to do some sort of, like, genre throwback or something that's, like, funny, you know? Like... Oh, hey, what if we parodied the goblins? Or what if we had a new in uh, insightful take on them? Or 
something like that. Just something more than just a straight up and down bog standard garden variety goblin. And the Reichlings in, in Morrowind and Skyrim aren't perfect, but they are something. They're not even, like, just the fact that they're not called goblin and they're just some green dudes with pointy ears and they look like every other goblin I've ever seen. It feels a million times better because it's just so, they're so generic in this game. And if it turns out that there's like an intense like goblin quest or like some really cool goblin lore in this game, then I guess I'll have to eat my words, but somehow I don't suspect that. They surprised me in um in Skyrim with how the, the goblin lore went. With the Reekings being like, Hey, will you will you like help us? And you can like you can hang out with them and you can befriend them and you can give them goodies and like, they're so small that they use arrows like spears, and so you can give a goblin a really, really good quality arrow, and it'll be a really good spear for him. And that's all cool. That's fun, you know? I think oh, my... Yeah, just a mud crab, right? Does that do anything? Well, it looks like the Southwest Tunnel is the only place new for me. Is this the intended route? Route? Wouldn't it be funny if if I if someone was like, at first you pronounced route correctly, but then you changed your pronunciation and I lost all respect for you. Oh yeah, also, um, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't talk shit on my fans, but, wow, look at how much better of a chest that is. The old, the other chest was just completely nonsensical. Why was, why was that chest like that? Why was it constructed in such a way to be very hard and only have that much gold? Is it a fucked up thing with like this, the scaling of, oh, it's like a thing in here. Like, does this game have like fucked up level scaling that I don't know about? I actually know very little about this game. Nobody like briefed me on my way in. All right. Um, sorry, just trying to think, but nothing's happening. Yeah, generic regular goblins. But yeah, it's just one of those things. Like, I, I am disappointed in, in this game in certain places. It's still a very competent and fun RPG. I feel... Maybe my problem is that, like, Morrowind is a really tough act to follow. And it is. Like, for all of the jank in it, Morrowind's storytelling and, and like, actual role-playing are pretty top-notch as they come. But yeah, like, everyone knows that, like, all the really good RPGs are jank, I would say. Like, I would just outright admit, like, you know what? Every single really good RPG is jank in some way. Like, Symphony of the Night? Pretty jank. Morrowind's definitely jank. New Vegas? Boys, that game's from jank. Um, but you know, that doesn't really matter that much. This, this can't be happening. There's, there's no reason for that to be locked.
I mean, maybe there is a reason, but certainly not with that hard of a lock. On the other hand, I guess maybe he might know about the goblins in the sewers, which... Eh, yeah, I guess so. The sloth gate. I think slothing might be one of the grossest words ever. Like, I'm going to slough off all this skin, you know? I'll say it. Controversial, I know, but degloving is gross. It's yucky. But yeah, like, th like, obviously this game has a lot of good stuff going on, but there is a lot of things in here that are just, like, good-feeling RPG stuff that is like, yes, this is cool, I like it, it's good. And then, and then some of it is stuff where, like, this isn't, this is Elder Scrolls, you know? Like... And I feel like we're having a disconnect between those. Like we're having stuff that is like fine in a normal RPG, but it just feels a little boring or generic in Elder Scrolls. And like, I would wish that Elder Scrolls wouldn't have something like that. Like I might hope for better. Um. Cool, we're out. I guess Boros is fine. I hope he's fine. The arena. No one in, in this game looks anywhere near that good. And only that guy kind of looks that good. What is it? There's no problem. Gotta be honest, I'm kind of tempted to change my uh, birth sign. I might use console commands and change my birth sign just because, like, the Atronach is cool and all, but, like, it is really hampering my actual ability to play with magic in this game. And, like, it looks as though it's definitely not as busted or weird as it was in um, Morrowind. Which would make sense. Like, the longer that an RPG series goes on, the more likely it is that your favorite thing will be nerfed. And, like, you look at how, how high the, the alchemy... I'm listening. Jack Ben. Well, bye, anyway. You look at how, like, high and huge the alchemy can get in, like... Daggerfall. And Oblivion feels small. Or uh, Morrowind feels, like, smaller and, and less crazy busted by comparison. But most people would look at Oblivion and see how you can, like, stack stuff with itself. And that's, that's fucking crazy. That's insane. And then Oblivion is a pretty scaled-down version of that. And people look at the skills in Oblivion and they're like, well, you know, you could never get as strong as you could in, in Morrowind that you do in Oblivion. But then you look at, like, Skyrim to Oblivion and, and like, even of what I've seen, like, you are way, way more, like... Powerful and Oblivion. And more diverse of a character as well. Um, to an extent. But yeah, that's something I've noticed. I feel like you get all grow back in later months. Jesus. Is that a little much? Um, oh yeah, I can check a map here. Actually, I'll do this off camera. Um, I usually cut these after 30 minutes or so anyway, but I'll do it a little earlier here. Uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Oblivion. I hope you had a good day. A good time. I did too. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.